Hi, in this episode, I'm going to show you how I usually integrate pull requests from GitHub when working on an open source project. Okay, so now I'm going to open source tree and a new terminal, and then I'm going to pull all the changes coming from upstream into my local Git repository. Okay, so now all the changes are in my local repository, but I also have to push them to origin. Perfect. Now, if you go back to source tree, you will see that my master branch is up to date. Now let's create a new branch, giving the name for this pull request. And then we have to go back to GitHub. And then we go to the first commit. We navigate upwards until we find one commit, which was originated from the main master branch, which is this one. We copy the commit, then we placed here in source tree. So now we are basing this branch upon that particular commit. Perfect. Now, if you go back to GitHub in the conversations tab, you can find their instructions on how to get the changes from this pull request into your local branch, which are listed exactly here. You just need to copy paste them in your terminal and execute them and you will see that you get all the changes now. Now to get a nice history in Git, I'm going to use rebase and we are going to squash multiple commits into one using rebase, the interactive mode. You need to just change um, every other commit, which is not the first one. You need to, to change from pick to squash, save, and then you can alter the commit message. Because of the squash, I'm seeing now both commit messages here. So I just need to pick only one of them, save, and then the rebase is going to be over. Yeah, like that. Now the rebase is done. Now, if I go to source tree and refresh, I can see that the new squashed commit coming from this pull request is on top of master. Perfect. Although I could review this pull request here on source tree, I'm not going to do that because it's not very nice. So I'm going to IntelliJ IDEA and then I'm going to review it there because it's much, way, way much nicer. While reviewing the changes, I can decide if I want to leave it like that or if I want to modify it further and then integrate that, those changes as well. So here I, I, I see that there is still room for improvements. So I'm just going to open the classes and apply some changes to make it look better. Okay, so now I'm going to fast forward a little bit so you don't have to wait for me to apply all these changes. much better now. Now let's integrate these changes too. So we'll have to go to source tree. And then we can just commit all the new messages and we are going to amend the last commit like that. Okay, so one last review to make sure that we are happy with all the changes before merging them to master. Yeah, it looks great. Now, to integrate all these changes, we need to go back to the git terminal. First, let's see on what branch we are. Okay, we're in the pull request branch. We need to check out the master branch. And then we can merge the last branch we were in. Perfect. Now, the only thing that's left to be done is to just push all the changes, both to origin and to upstream. Like that. Great. Going back to source tree, we can see that the last commit has been applied to both origin and upstream. So we can just delete the pull request branch and we are done. 